Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. What are we doing today? Where are we going? Are we dropping off a turkey? Is there a turkey right here in the pickup? Oh my. We're up here. We just got to Wilson's Wildlife Artistry. Friends of mine, best taxidermists in the world. They do an incredible job. People from all over the place bring their critters here because they do such a great job. They've done quite a few stuff for me. They might even have stuff for us to pick up today. I don't know. But we're dropping off this turkey we got last week. Let me roll in that footage of that turkey bird. Big green, baby. Big green. Remington TSS. Woo! But, that's what we're doing. We're dropping off this turkey. What sound does a turkey make? You remember? Bok, bok. Bok, bok. No, that's a chicken. A turkey says, gobble, 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 gobble. But, they always got some cool stuff. Let's go in here and check it out. You ready, baby? Okay. Then we'll get some treats. Deal. All right, so we did pick up some ducks, dropped off the turkey. We're gonna have him do it kind of like this one right here. About like this guy. So when we pick him up, that turkey bird gonna look like this. But which one's your favorite, honey? Is that the big one? She likes the big buffalo. That's cool. No, he's kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can't move no more. No. Look up here, look at this turkey. Oh. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. Mm hmm. He's pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look, there's another turkey. Oh, that's that hot dog. The piggy? Mm -hmm. see the piggy? And they got some big old deers, huh? Yeah. That's a cool turkey, too. What is it? It's a cute one. That's a cute beaver? Mm -hmm. Look at this guy. Is this guy scary? Yeah. That's like a, a badger or something. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Mm -hmm. that, that's a not a trap. Oh, he's got his foot in a trap. Yeah. Oh, look, there's like a blonde raccoon. That's cool. I love that raccoon. You love it's that brown raccoon? Uh-huh. Me it's too. I ever pet it. Hey, shoot a raccoon, right? Yeah, we need to shoot some more raccoons, huh? Yeah. There's a black buck like Jackson has. Yeah. Oh, that's a cute one. That's, that's a cute kitty? Mm -hmm. That's a big old kitty. Yeah. And look, I look at this bear. I don't act so baby. Look at this bear. That's a big old bear. Baby. Yeah, that mama was looking for her babies. Yeah. Look at these. But, Look uh, at that bobcat. Look what he's got. Baby. 
Look, he's got a squirrel. What? Tell me eating a dog? A squirrel. Yeah. Look at that huh? kitty. That kitty don't want to bet that red tune out in black. And look at look at this turkey. Oh, oh. big old bird. He's a bad guy. He's yeah. a bad guy. He's a bad guy? No. Oh man. There's a pieball deer. So pretty. I'm going to show you their sign here. If y'all need some taxidermy, give them a shout. Tell them I sent you. They do awesome stuff over here. Okay, baby. Was that fun? It, did they have pretty animals in there? And we dropped off our big old turkey bird. And they're still working on a speckle belly goose for us. One that Papa got. And we picked up these two birds. Don't look too quick. I'll show you those up close when we get to the house. Aren't those pretty? They did a good job. What do those birds sound like? No, no, these are ducks. What does a duck sound like? Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> All right, let's run home and show mommy, okay? All right, so I'm back in the house. I'm actually in the closet here because the lighting is really good and it shows up how pretty these birds are. Look at that green. But Wilson's Wildlife Artistry, they do an incredible job. This is not some kind of cheesy paid ad. They're just friends of mine at this point. I've been going to them for years and they do incredible work. Let me just zip it and show you these birds here. Like I said, brought them in here, stuck them on the wall quick where we got good lighting and I can really show them off. But they did a crazy awesome job. Who knows what kind of bird this is? Y'all hardcore duck hunters will know what this is. This is a green wing teal. I'll try to get up close and get some of the details on this guy. Real pretty birds. We ate them the day I got home. Just look at the the feathers. That green is a super, super cool green. But they did an awesome, awesome job. See how they got the, the feet there. I think for the legs and the beak, they actually paint them. I'm no taxidermy expert, but I asked them to put them on a log with their backs cockeyed so we could see all the feathers. That is the first bird. Let me unhook this guy. Like I said, I just set him here where we could sit here in the good light and talk about him for a second. And this one, the second one, this dude's a lot bigger. If I can hang him on the wall while I'm sitting here trying to talk. I'll put him up side by side so you can see the size difference, but look at that. A lot more commonly known type of bird right there, huh? That is a male mallard. I gotta step back to get him all in there, but asked him to do the same thing with the wood there. Just looks kind of cool. When you go in there, you, they'll ask you how you want it done, and they're really, really good folks. They can do it however you want to. But let's focus in here on close on this guy like we did the other one. Real pretty colors, cool beak, pretty green head with that white ring around their necks. A lot bigger of a bird, the mallards. And you see how the green winged teal had the green back here. Well, the mallards have a real pretty blue in their feathers there. You can see how they're a little, got the curl going on there. And the mallard duck has really bright orange feet when that sucker spread out it's like that wide and their underbelly feathers are kind of unique too it's kind of cool you don't normally most people don't get up this close to to birds like that but let me show you that teal up next to the mallard just to kind of show you the size difference 
teal is a lot smaller of a bird. Pretty cool though, but let me get them put back up on the wall and I'll show you them on the wall, on the trophy wall with all my other critters. I'm whispering because it's past bedtime and people are sleeping, but here's where I got them hanging on this wall here with a bunch of their other friends. I think it's about time we did a trophy wall update. I've still got some others that need I need to hang up here, but once I do that, we'll get an update. But there's those two birds there, the mallard and the green wing teal. Pretty sweet. But like I said, if you're anywhere in Tennessee or even further and you need some awesome taxidermy work, give my buddies a call over there at Wilson's Wildlife Artistry. You can see on these ducks, fantastic job. They've also done psycho deer for me. The thing looks like it's alive. If you look at all my mounts, that deer looks awesome. He also has a white front goose or a speckle buddy speckle belly up there they're working on for me and like you guys saw at the beginning of the video i took him my monster turkey so he's gonna have my turkey done here after a while i keep saying he has the whole team of folks down there uh, but you saw the the uh showroom there at the front uh they can do just about anything guys uh, go check out their website uh like i said super cool folks I 100% am waiting to do a, a trophy wall update for you guys. I love talking about that stuff. I just love it. Um, I love it. That's my jam. But that wall's got some stuff. My boy's room's got some stuff. I've got three deer on the floor right here behind me. Axis buck, fallow deer, red stag. Those are all episodes on the show. Also from this last season, I have my 10-pointer whitetail from Texas, my 8-pointer from Tennessee, my boy's 6-pointer whitetail. Uh, I thought there was four deer. Oh yeah, and my mule deer from Montana. And then also my pronghorn from Colorado and my bison from Colorado. So we got 9 or 10 critters still at the taxidermist. We're losing some room. My wife says I need to go build another building somewhere to house all my animals. Maybe we'll do that someday. But, till then, appreciate y'all. Thanks for coming along with me. Um, I love the animals. Every single mount tells a story. Um, and I could tell the stories to y'all all day. I love it. But hey, appreciate y'all coming along with me picking up these ducks and dropping off my turkey. If you missed it last year, uh, when was it, January? We went to the Gundy's and we got voted best outdoorsman by y'all. And I really, really appreciate it. And that really, really means a lot. But we're going to keep doing what we do, chasing critters and uh, all the testing we do and all the stuff we put on film for you guys to check out and watch. Truly appreciate you watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned. Lots of videos on the way that I am super excited about, and I know you won't want to miss. Appreciate y'all. Really means a lot that you watched. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie hoo.